What is up, guys? My name is Echerno. Welcome to episode, what is this, like 18.1, okay? I'm not going to call it 18.5 because I have a special plan for 18.5. It's probably going to come out on Christmas Day. Um, that's going to be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, um, so this is 18.1, and I know that I released 18, like, last night. Um, from the time I'm recording this, literally, like, what, 15 hours ago. So, yeah, it's, this episode's coming pretty close to the other one, but, um, I just wanted to fix one thing. First of all, um, someone on Twitter, um, I'll put the, uh, the Twitter, like, thing, the comment, like, right on the screen right now, uh, nerds, WB nerds, pointed out that, um, uh, that, you know, that this wall was, like, behind the render distance, so, like, there's, like, a black line here, even though there shouldn't be, because clearly, this is, like, very close to the camera, and that, it's, you know, it's, like, it's not properly arranged, and I thought, well, yeah, that's actually quite the case, and that's true, you know, let's solve that, so I thought that I'd make a little episode, um, for you guys, uh, hopefully without, you know, coughing, um, <clears throat> um, on how to actually basically position these walls in front of the render distance, uh, limiter. Alrighty, so, um, let's, let's jump into our render, our render 3D class. I always say render dot 3D, I don't, I don't even know why, but, um, render 3D. And basically you'll say that in this, uh, in this floor method, we've got, like, this whole, like, wall stuff. And let's grab all of this code, so, up until the last curly bracket, parenthesis, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, you're copying from random, random equals new random, um, and from that, that will basically all, all of the wall code. Let's just cut it, control X, and um, let's close up this method. So if you put your cursor thing there, you'll see that that is the floor method. Um, and let's just type public void. So we're making a new method just for the wall stuff. Public void walls. Okay, let's just call it walls. Um, with no parameters. We have uh, game game here because we actually use... <laughs> Uh, game dot time and game dot controls and stuff like that. We don't, we don't need anything for walls, so just leave the uh, the space in there blank, and um, paste all of this code. So our wall, <coughs> I'm sorry, um, our walls method uh, now has all of our wall code in it. Okay, so right off the bat we've got a problem. Uh, forward, you know, can't be resolved to a variable because it is inside this method, and we can't use it that way. So is the way to solve that is just go um, public. It doesn't even have to be public. It can be private. Private double uh, forward, and I'm just going to call it forward global because, well, you know, it's it's global for the class, not just for the specific method. Public double global, we won't actually assign it to anything. Um, let, but let's just go here and where we see forward. Under forward, let's just type forward global equals forward. So we're assigning um, uh, forward. So we're assigning um, global to whatever forward is at the moment. Um, and yeah, uh, and that should be fine. And let's just grab that, copy and paste that into all of these ones. So we're changing forward global to forward. Sorry, we're changing forward to forward global. So that now we uh, we get the actual data that we need. Um, all right, that's just the easiest way to solve it, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, so if we run this, let's just... Oh, uh, actually, it probably won't display any. Okay, it's not just saying I will. Um, okay, so now what, what we've essentially done is <coughs> is put all of the wall code into a uh, into a walls method. So now let's go into our screen class because remember the screen dot Java class is what actually renders this stuff. And uh, let's just go ahead and say um, render dot walls. And now if we hit Control S, you'll see that those walls are generating, and they're actually uh, in front of the thing. And the reason is that the code works like this, right? You've got you've got this happening first, so it's rendering the, the floor, then the render distance limiter, and then the walls. So if we grab the walls and actually put them in, in front, so beforehand the render distance limiter, and hit Control S, which I will in a second, it'll, it'll actually render those walls uh, in front, uh, hang on, it'll render, sorry, it'll render this thing, because it, it works in chronological order, right, it renders this first, then this, then this, so it'll render, it'll render our render distance limiter, um, after the walls, so we don't want that, so if we hit control S, you'll see that they're actually, you know, the walls are behind the render distance limiter, so let's just grab that and move it after, 
and you will see that, well, as you saw before, uh, they're now in front of the things, in front of the uh, Render Distance Limiter, and they actually look like they're, well, you know, close to the camera at the moment. Okay, that's the that's how you solve that. Um, and the other thing is, someone pointed out in the comments as well, that, like, having different methods is really good, because what you can do is you can just basically minimize the method, like, you can hide it, you can collapse it, so that, you know, this walls thing, this is almost 100 lines of code right here, and that's heaps, like, we don't want that in the way of stuff, so if we just hit that, and we can sort of like this minus and plus sign here. We can actually like easily sort sort through our code. So we can say, okay, well, there's three different components being rendered in the render or 3D class. It's floor. Again, I said render or 3D in the render 3D class, which is the uh, the floor, the walls, and the limiter. And we, if we want to operate on the actual floor and the rendering logic, we can use that. If we just want to touch the walls, we can use walls and so on and so forth. So that so we don't need to see all of it at the at the one time. I'll just open that up though. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's really quick thing I wanted to point out on how to actually get rid of that render distance limiter in front. And uh, yeah, there we go. I'm answering your question. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.